Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna be doing something a little bit outside of my comfort zone. We're gonna be using pops of color. So as you can see from my eyes, I did a pop of purple on the eyelids and semi a cut crease, but not entirely. I created this eye look only using the Natasha Denona Tropic palette. It's very easy to create. So if you wanna learn how to create this look, then just keep on watching. All right, so I went ahead and washed, prepped my face. I have a moisturizer and sunscreen already. We're so gonna go ahead with the NYX Shine Killer Primer like a clear silicone gel um, and a little goes a long way I always like to focus on my center my forehead mix the excess all over the face so you want to go ahead and put it right on that area and just put it there I kind of want to do almost like a cut crease because I really want my eyelids to pop. I was thinking of maybe using a Zena on the eyelid. Maybe using Spectra Lavender um, Highlight Shade and it kind of matches my top. So I was thinking of putting on topping on that color on the lid. So we're going to use Fake Tan. This color right over here as our transition color. Kind of to bring in all the colors together. I'm gonna go ahead with the color Sangria. And then we're gonna use the blending side of this brush and really blend those colors together. I wanna go in now with the color Coco and we're gonna focus this on our outer corner right over here. And with that same blending brush from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, we're gonna blend that, those three colors together. I'm gonna use the Maybelline uh, Fit Me Concealer. I like to go in with the NYX Skin Tone Eyeshadow Base. It kind of has like a tacky um, like residue so it can hold on to your eyeshadows better. So now I'm going to go in with a tapered brush as well from BH Cosmetic and we're going to pick up that color Xena. Pack it on on the eyelid. So I'm going to go in with the Aurora palette and pick up the color Spectra. This color right over here. It's a bit um, purpley, has some nice glitter on it as well. Same brush. Um, I'm going to spray it with the L'Oreal Fallible Makeup Extender Spray. And pick up that color. I feel like Xena was already a nice color, but Spectra from the highlight palette really gave it that finishing, you know, touch. And now we're just gonna blend the outer, the crease color into that area that I went ahead and applied some eyeshadow base, just so it doesn't look too, you know, cut out. So now I want to give myself a nice brown eyeliner using um, my NYX Tame and Frame in the color Brunette. Just I'm actually going to use this lip brush and make the eyeliner with this because I feel it's much easier for me.
Now that we have that, we can remove the sticky tape. I'm going to go in now with the curling. Um, I already used the Voluminous uh, Mascara, Superstar Waterproof Mascara. And it comes with like a white gel coat. So now I'm going to use some Demi Wispy Lashes and my Duo Fiber Glue. Now we're going to do the face. I want to go ahead with the NYX Color Correcting Concealer and kind of, you know, make it seem like this whole redness going on right now can like kind of go away. So I like to use the pink shade on this side. I like to use this shade over here and really just neutralize that area. I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Pro Matte. I'm only gonna get this much and really focus on the center where I get the most oily. We're gonna use the Fit Me Dewy Finish on the other outer side of the skin. So now I'm going to go in with the Crown C404 SM Duo Face Brush. And we're just going to blend the center and then work out on the outer section. Once I blended it out with a dual fiber brush, I like to use my beauty blender. This is from Real Techniques and use the back end to blend out the foundation. So today, actually, I wanted to use the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Matchsticks Trio. It brings a concealer, contour brush, and highlighter, and I really wanted to use this, so... I can't believe I almost forgot I wanted to use this for this video. So we're going to use the color Bamboo to conceal and then we're going to use Mocha to contour. I'm going to start blending. I'm going to use my beauty blender. We want to use a, this is the e.l.f. small stippled brush. Just mix my contour. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the Maybelline Light, just on the very center. Now I'm going to go in with the Airspun Loose Face Powder. And now I'm going to do my eyebrows and 
as well add some of this color on the lower lash line I'm going to go in with concealer and a flat taper brush to clean it out Use our blending brush. Just to take out any line that we did with the concealer when cleaning up our brows. Now we're gonna go on with the same colors that we used on our lids, on our lower lids. Fake tan, a little bit of sangria, like a very, very little bit of sangria. Then we're gonna go back with Zena and then cocoa on the outer side. Here I'm going with the color fake tan all over my under eye just to have a nice transition color. Then here I'm adding sangria only to my center and outer under eye area to really leave the inner corner open for a pop of color. Then we have Zena in the inner corner area to give us a nice pop of purple. Last but not least, I'm picking up Coco and adding it on our outer under eye area to connect with the cat eye we did earlier. And here I'm adding the Superstar Waterproof Mascara on my lower lashes to complete the eye look. I just added my bronzer from the Morphe palette and it's the color donut just to set the fenty beauty contour and then i added i went in with the rose d'oro blush on my cheeks and now i want to go in with a highlighter yeah. i'm actually going to go in with the aurora palette and use spectra so it can kind of match our eyelids and i'm going to go in with, with my la prairie brush you always want to dust out the excess. Now for lips. I'm going to go in with my lip color Spice from Milani, which is kind of embarrassing that I have this tiny one. I need to go buy more. Because And candy cane, I'm kind of scared to use it because it looks a bit pinky, but I can't remember the last time I wore this, so let's try it out. So, hmm, I really like it. I wonder why I haven't used this color. So this is Spice Lip Liner and Candy K. I like how it's like a pinky subtle nude. Like it's not too like washed out, but it's like there and not to be a statement. Take all the attention off the eyes. You know what I mean? Now we're gonna set our face with the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Extender Setting Spray. And I, have I kinda wanna go in with some highlighter in the tear duct area um, to make my eyes pop a bit so I'm gonna use this lip pencil from BH Cosmetics I want to go in with Eclipse from the Aurora palette I'm super happy I took the risk of using purple on my eyelid because that's not something I'm always gravitating towards so very happy with this look and it was very easy to follow I'm pretty excited to try out more eye looks with the Natasha Denona palette just doing this one really motivated me to do more different eye looks and colors and try out different things here and there that is it for this youtube video don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel so you can see more videos like this and until next time bye